The Supreme Court has struck down the electoral bond scheme. They have held that this violates the fundamental right to information. The court said that it should be transparent because right to information is a right of our every citizen. So I filed a petition in Supreme Court in which I said that it should be transparent and they should give the name and amount who, who donated the amount to the party. The Supreme Court has struck down the electoral bond scheme, comprehensively struck it down and all the provisions that were made to bring it into effect in the Income Tax Act, in the Companies Act, etc. Everything has been struck down. They have held that this violates the fundamental right to information of citizens to know about uh, who is contributing uh, this much uh, money to political parties, etc. They have also struck down the amendment made which allowed unlimited cont political contribution uh, being made by companies to political parties. So not only the electoral bond scheme but also the amendment which removed the restrictions on political contributions by companies which were that you cannot contribute more than 7.5% of your annual profit by way of political contributions, that has also been struck down as uh, violating the level playing field in a democracy. So uh, the, the, the petitions filed by us have been comprehensively allowed by the Supreme Court. So they have also directed the State Bank of India to furnish complete information about who purchased the bonds, who encashed the bonds. And all this information will have to be submitted to the Election Commission, who will have to display it on a public website so that the people come to know who purchased the bonds and who contributed by way of electoral bonds to, these, to which political party. The court said that it should be transparent because right to information is a right of our every citizen. So it should be transparent and the money, um, what the amount of money and which people give it, it should be disclosed uh, to every people. Okay. What, what, are the, what are the rules and regulations related to the electoral bond? Uh, see, uh, in 2018, we, uh, when this uh, electoral bond uh, scheme proposed, in this scheme, it should be said that uh, you can uh, buy bond from the bank and uh, you can give the money uh, to the party which you want to give and your name is, is doesn't disclose, which is, uh, uh, which is uh, against right to information and it should be uh, disclosed. So I file a petition in Supreme Court in which I said that it should be transparent and uh, they should give the name and amount who uh, who donate uh, the amount to the party